Sheesh. <sighs> Smells so aromatic. That's like the heaven scent bite right there. doesn't happen too often where the uh, lake freezes over and it's this nice out, but we're on Lake Superior. All right, well, I'm not really just out here just to skate. Came to fish too, but wanted to show you around before I started getting all serious on the fishing. You can see there's a big bunch of people out there. People skating over here, over to the bridge. I'm not feeling that ballsy, but I will get out here and fish for a little bit. Um, if you are coming out here alone, make sure you have the uh, the proper equipment. I'm sweaty. All right, Let's see if we can't drill a hole. Goes from my palm to the tip of my middle finger, so about six, seven inches. How deep do we think we are? I'm gonna guess like 70? 60. All right. I'm running the Mav rod with a giant lake trout tube. We're gonna be going for some big trouts. I am running a discount on these rods right now for the end of the season. So if you guys want a really quality ice fishing rod, go ahead and check out mavmadeit.com. Also got the new heavyweight hoodies and the uh yeah the new mav beanies go check them out support the channel please thank you it's quality stuff i like it nice sales pitch maverick it's quality stuff i like it but no really i spent a lot of time sourcing these things so i do like them a lot i'm not just trying to not just trying to sell you something you can finally see my jig and we're fishing on lake superior there's a fish First mark of the night. This whole lake isn't frozen over, so it does make it a little bit sketchy. The sheet could kind of blow out at any time. If you guys remember last year, uh, the sheet actually did blow out right after I had gotten off the water. I think over like 20 or 30 anglers had to be rescued by the Coast Guard, so just be safe out here. It's, uh, it's an unforgiving lake and I'd hate to see a tragedy. Anyway. We're gonna see if we can't catch a fish and if I can't catch a fish it's all right because we're gonna cook up some awesome food tonight and I'm gonna try again in the morning when the uh, the fishing's better. How's it going? I recognize you, believe it or not. Yeah? <laughs> I saw this thing and I was like, he's got to be <laughs> Not too many of them like it, huh? No. no <laughs> nice no. to meet you, Josh. Thank you. What's up, man? I want to make sure it doesn't fall. <laughs> Good, how are you? 
Thank you very much. Have a good night, Max. What's going on? How you guys doing? Yeah. You guys going uh you going out in the morning? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Plan on it. Sweet. Nice to meet you. Safe travels. I believe I forgot my wallet. It's like the first time ever. Well, let's go find a spot to sleep or to camp. I'm a popular guy tonight. It's crazy. Steve, I think, brings it out in me. People love Steve. It's kind of hard to miss him. I don't know. I don't know. Get some more attention, Steve or the bug. Probably Steve, actually. Sun's going down, 31 degrees. Let's get cooking. All right, I'll grab my knives. Chicken knife, veggie knife. What are we making tonight? I don't even know what it's called. Oh, it's just called chicken and chorizo risotto. Um, this comes from Adam, who comes who's uh, who comes from Ireland. Adam is from Ireland. Uh, he says this is my go-to. I'm reading this sideways right now. So this is my go-to dish when cooking for friends or even friends' families, and it always goes down like a treat. Recipe serves up to four, so can adjust as necessary. Don't need all the veg, but adds texture and makes me feel healthy. All right. Well, thanks, Adam. Uh, we're going to try to do your, uh, your recipe justice in the back of this RV. Uh, the recipe does call for two breasts. I'm going to do just one, and we're going to dice this guy up. Some pepper. Oh. Olive oil. It's like a churro again. Nice. Wow. Look at that. Neat. Um, we uh, we'll also need to defrost you, buddy. In the meantime, where's my onion? I think we're just gonna use one onion, actually. Can always use the other onion for another dish. And it says, diced. Ha ha. If you don't know how to dice an onion, shame on you. But here's how. So like you, like I just did, cut the uh, the nipple off. This little onion head, cut it in half by its booty. Now you have a half that's peeled, peel off his skin. You know, not hold it like that, like an idiot. We're just gonna make horizontal lines up the onion, and then we're gonna make vertical lines all the way down our onion. And now when you cut right here, Beautiful. Garlic. All right. A little squirt. Blow the, blow the entire RV up really quick. Where is my super suit? Where's my spoon? Onions on low for 10 minutes, so we must be trying to caramelize these. Veggies all chopped up. Onions are starting to look good. All right, I had to opt for the uh, spicier sausage because the mild sausage was uh, still frozen at the store. So it's a lot actually, but I like chorizo. 
That's why this recipe caught my eye is because it had chorizo in it. Cooked a lot with it in Mexico. So I've been craving me some chorizo I haven't had it in a while. Toss a little bit of turmeric in there. And then some paprika. Mix that all together. All right, so this is the risotto I found. It has artichoke in it, so I thought that sounded kind of good, actually. I'm gonna give it a go. Throw it in there with the chorizo. Yeah, you can see it's absorbing some of that chorizo oil. It's getting a yellowy color to it. I'm gonna add in some chicken stock. Well, here, you know what? There we go. Alright, add the chicken back in. Add our veggies. Now, everybody scolds me on using my knives to add veggies. And I'm going to try a new method today. I'm going to use a claw. Guys, knives can be sharpened again, you know. But appreciate you looking out. Alright, way too much stuff in here. Holy cow, dude. That is a full pot. I made like half of what I was told to make for four people. And it's still this much. I don't know how much you people are eating in Ireland, but holy frick. Make sure flip. Come on. There we go. I'm sitting in warmth. Waiting for my food to get done. This is not, this is unheard of in the truck. I did end up stacking my ice house on its side. I didn't bring it out today because we only had a little bit of fishing time. Out on Lake Superior, we can catch salmon and we can catch trout. And I'm excited about both. We can also catch whitefish and like, I'm mostly excited about the salmon and the lake trout. And we'll be getting up very early, like before the sun early. All right, let's give this a try. Oh, it's almost done. <coughs> Sheesh. All right, well, whew, smells so aromatic. This looks really similar to uh, that bunny chow that I made a little while back. Chorizo. Risotto, some artichoke in here. That's like the heaven sent bite right there. Dude. It's like very savory and kind of creamy because of the risotto. You get like a little bit of kick from the uh, from the chorizo, a little bite from the turmeric, and then all the veggies just like kind of freshen it up. Really nice. It's good. Give it probably like a 8.2 It's hitting that right now. This is really good Ooh. <laughs> 57 in here 24 outside not bad I'm gonna try sleeping this way tonight just so I don't lose my pillow over the edge of the bed. I lost it last time and that sucked. I'm gonna watch a few more episodes of Death Note and hit the hay. It's already like 8.30 right now. See you bright and early. Which one? Blueberry sounds like the one. Mm. Got 
kind of eerie not being able to see down. Good morning, bud. How you doing? You gotta share the fish with us. Yeah, you gotta share the fish with us. Well, of course. I might just go right here. Whoa! Oh, we're officially out here on the lake. I'm marking some fish. And we beat the sun, so for the first time in a while, I'm on time. <laughs> Look at that. It's like half the reason I come out here. catch of the day lake trout candy Schmelt. not what I'm going for there ain't no fish in this lake I got you something well, I'll see you tomorrow then. Hey, thanks again. <sighs> Tell you what, it's a lot of work for one smelt. I'm gonna go spend the next couple days, do some fun fishing. See if I can't catch a salmon before this ice blows out of here. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. As always, until next time, you already know the drill, just keep on trucking.